Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video I'll be making another mask with a deer skull that has the antlers of a mark horn goat, made out of paper mache and air dry clay. First, after I made my paper mask, I will be making my antlers. And I have to be honest, when I make something new, I usually make one first before filming it to ensure that I actually know how to make it. But as soon as I started recording, I have completely forgotten how I did it. So the first line that I drew with the French curve is a mistake, and I will correct this later. Now, after drawing and cutting out the horn 5 times and gluing it together to make it sturdy, I draw the individual pieces to cut it out from from two different kinds of cardboards to make the horn 3 dimensional and cover it with paper mache to hide the seams. So after gluing the horns on with a hot glue gun, I wrap the mask with a plastic foil to make sure that the monster clay that I will be using to make the deer skull will not stick onto the mask. Monster clay is a clay that softens when it's heated up with a heat gun or after you put it into a microwave and then it hardens when it cools off. So I will actually be using this as a mold and cover it up with paper mache to then go over it with air dry clay for the final details. Now the reason that I'm not making my skull directly with air dry clay is because I'm not really that confident with my skull pin skills and I hate wasting materials. So this is a little bit of an experiment to see if it would work. After cutting the skull off and removing clay, it is time to finish the mask underneath it first. And as usual, I cover it with speckling paste that has white PVE glue mixing along with white gesso to ensure that no cracks will form.
Then for the eyes, I use the fabric that most used to cover the windows with to prevent mosquitoes to enter your home. And I cut five pieces for each eye opening to ensure that no one can see the virus eyes. Now once everything has dried, I will try to dry brush it with some dark orange and red paint. Then to make it a little more interesting, I give it some details by drawing some random black lines over it. Once I was happy with the mask, I can reattach the paper skull with some masking tape and with a hot glue gun. Then I start with forming the details of the skull with Darby Adra clay and Fimo clay, simply by going over the eye sockets and forming the fangs. And I also try to make the horns look a little bit more realistic. Then afterwards, I simply repeat the progress of my mask making by going over it with toilet paper and speckling paste. Now to paint this I wanted a black background because I love black skulls and then I dry brush it with blue and green paint. At first I found it clashed a little too much with the orange mask underneath it. But I stick to it and hope that the end result will be worth it in the end. Then after that I marked it with some random white and black lines.
And there you have it. After spraying it with some clear varnish and attaching some velcro to make it wearable, it is now finally finished. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, then please consider sticking around for the next one. Until then!